Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a typography tornado in After Effects. It's going to be super fun and we don't need any plugins to create this. I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Now before we begin with this tutorial, I would like to take a minute and introduce you guys to my very own case graphics pack which contains over 2000 plus ready to use animations. Plus it comes with animation studio which is a free extension for after effects making the pack super easy to use. The pack contains 18 different animation categories and 250 plus sound effects making it all in one graphics pack. To know more about this pack check out the link in the description below. With that said let's get back to after effects and get started all right guys here we are in after effects let's start by creating a new composition just like we always like to do let's call this text here because this is going to be a text placeholder for the width i'm gonna go with 2800 for and for the height i'll go with 210 10 seconds long comp with 30 fps hit okay so here we have our text placeholder let's select the text tool and you can of course type in anything that you want i'm just gonna go with twisted twister motion twister motion all right now one thing you need to make sure is you use a very thick font so for that i'm gonna go with a monumental extended ultra bold i'll mention the link to download this font in the description below let's align this into the center if you don't see this align tab you can go under windows and turn this on also let's increase the spacing a bit let's set this to something like that and let's try to align this okay so as you can see this is aligned very nicely so there we have our text let's add a background really quick so hit ctrl y to create a new solid called this bg with a black color hit ok let's put this below so here we have our text now we need to animate this text so let's create one more composition and this time i'm going to do the reverse of this so let's make this 210 by 2800 call this black strip Alright, let's drag and drop the text here composition right over here. Hit R to bring down the rotation properties and rotate this by 90 degrees. Now we need to animate this. To do that, I'm going to use a very cool effect called motion tile. Double click to apply that up and now we can just basically animate this just like so. So let's create a keyframe at the very beginning with title action center. Go all the way up to 10 seconds and let's move this just like that so we have a very simple movement for our text it looks very nice simple now let's duplicate this black strip that we have hit ctrl d and call this white strip okay let's open that up and let's go in effects and preset of this let's add a tint on this and swap the colors so we have the opposite of black and white that is white and black which absolutely doesn't make any sense but it will in a bit so here we have the reverse colors for this and what i'm going to do is select this layer hit u so we can see the keyframes select the title action center right click go into keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes so that the movement is towards the top and the black strip movement is towards the bottom all right pretty simple let's go ahead and create a new composition this is going to be our main animation comp so let's call this animation and for the width i'm going to go with 1920 for the height i'm just going to copy that 1920 by 1920 hit okay but if you want to create this for a video you can go with 1080 1920 by 1080 i'm going to do this for instagram so i'm going with 1920 by 1920 okay let's drag and drop the black strip first of all right over here hit r and rotate this by around let's go with 
let's go with something like so yeah that looks good maybe i'll go with minus uh, 98 just a bit and scale this down to around 60 percent all right let's select the layer go into effects and preset and type in cylinder cc cylinder is that what we will be using now as you can see it looks a bit messed up so to fix this what we can do is turn on this option called collapse transformation so turn that on and now you can see we get this really cool look if i just turn off the background you can see looks pretty cool go into lighting pretty quick and set the light height to 90 so you get a better look at this now let's go into the position and position the z-axis to around let's go with minus 800 okay that looks good now we don't want the band backside that is the swirl that we have right here so to get rid of that i'm going to set the render to outside only if you want the inside you can set this to inside but i'm going to set this to outside and that is what we get let's go into the rotation and we need to tweak this a bit so i'll first of all rotate the y axis to around 80 degrees the x axis to minus 5 and the z axis to plus 9 now these are the properties that i came up with while i was playing around with um, the animation you are free to try out different values but to get the desired result these are the properties so that looks pretty cool let's select the black strip hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second one select the white strip now hold alt and drag and drop it so it's gonna replace that and now if i set this to inside you can see we get a nice white strip right over here now one thing that we need to do is select this hit s and the reason i'm doing this is right now you can see the movement on the strip is pretty weird we want the animation or the text to go in one particular direction so to fix this i'm going to unlink the scale and set this to minus 60. and now there we go looking pretty nice now let's go ahead and create one more composition which is going to be our main comp hit ok and drag and drop in the animation comp that we just created and basically now all we have to do is duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's put this up below just like so let's align this with the black strip so as you can see we need to align this You can use the arrow keys just to be a bit more precise just like that and now you can see we get a array of motion which looks like a twisted tornado now basically the idea here is to keep on duplicating this so i can just hit ctrl d again pull this below and place it just like that let's move all of them to the top right Select this, hit Ctrl D, pull this below. And one more, I'm going to do this really quick. Just like that. So as you can see, this is a looking pretty cool. Now, this is the effect that you can go with, but I'm looking to create kind of a tornado look to this. And the tornado is in a way that the top is a bit more um, bigger than the bottom. I don't know what exactly to call this but you get the idea so I'll create a new adjustment layer call this mesh and yes you guys did right we are going to use a mesh warp on this a very cool effect let's set the rows and columns to one and one let's go with the quality of 10 select the mesh warp and all I have to do is tweak the points so to do that i'm gonna just select this pull this right over here and i'm just gonna do this very roughly you don't need to be very precise actually with this and then select these points let's pull them out and then we need to adjust the handles just like that I'm trying to make this very straight
and I think we are good to go. As you can see, this is looking pretty cool. So very easy and very interesting effect that you can play around with. And by the way, you can actually go into the text here, comp, and you can add different number of stuff. So you can use icons, you can even use videos if you want to. And you know, the one thing that I like to use that I showed in the previous tutorial as well was the grid. So I can just create a new solid called this grid. Go into effects and preset, type in grid apply this set the border to three and just play around with the number of strips just like that you know something like so now if i go back into main comp there you go you have a very interesting look so this was a really simple but a very interesting you know concept of creating some cool typography animation inside of after effects without using any plugins so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like share and follow me on instagram at dope.motions and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video if you guys are enjoying this kind of typographic tutorials do let me know in the comment section below so that i can create more and more tutorial based around this topic and if you have any more suggestions for any kind of different topics do let me know in the comment section i read each and every comment so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out